First Unit of Use Compounding Kits. Quick and accurate compounding kits for some of your most often filled prescriptions. Each first kit has everything needed to compound a single prescription quickly and accurately. Each kit contains pre-weighed, pre-measured ingredients to support accuracy, saves prep, compounding, and cleanup time, facilitates compliance with USP Chapter 795, saves time, eliminates waste, and can ease third-party reimbursement and audit-related adjustments. First unit of use compounding kits make progesterone suppository compounding fast and accurate. Kits are available in 25, 50, 100, 200, and 400 milligrams. Everything you need to compound 30 progesterone suppositories is included in these easy to use kits. For this demonstration, we will compound progesterone 25, but the procedure is the same for all of the kits. All ingredients have been pre-weighed to save you time and support accuracy. Begin by opening the box and verifying that all of the components are present. You should have the following. The package insert, a vial of pre-weighed micronized progesterone powder, a jar of pre-weighed fatty acid base, a 30-unit suppository mold with caps, a suppository mold guide plate, a mold cover with a suppository dispensing tool, a stirrer, and a filling tool. Take a moment to review the package insert to familiarize yourself with the procedure. The first step is to prepare the fatty acid base. Remove the cover and melt the base in a microwave oven. Depending on the type of microwave used, this will take one to three minutes. So set the timer for one minute and then check it. If it is not completely melted, microwave it for an additional 15 seconds and check it again. Continue to do this until the base is completely liquefied, but be careful not to overheat it. Next, tap the top and bottom of the micronized progesterone vial to loosen the powder. Remove the cover and carefully empty the powder into the melted base. Tap the bottom and sides of the vial to keep the powder loose while emptying it into the base. Using the stirrer, stir the progesterone powder into the base for 30 to 60 seconds until a homogeneous suspension is apparent. Be careful not to stir so vigorously as to spill the suspension outside the jar. Now carefully and slowly pour the entire suspension onto the 30 suppository mold in an even circular motion, covering all of the suppository cavities. Using the filling tool provided, Finish by spreading the suspension over the cavities until they are all filled. Place the guide plate onto the mold with the 30 raised guide holes facing up. Be especially careful to align the guide plate notches with the mold notches, otherwise your patient will not be able to remove the finished suppositories from the mold. When you have the guide plate properly aligned with the mold, gently push it down to lock it in place. Finally, verify that the suppository dispensing tool is attached to the mold cover. Place the mold cover onto the mold and refrigerate the entire unit for at least 15 minutes to solidify the suppositories. Visually check that the suppositories have solidified before dispensing the entire unit to your patient. Show your patient how to use the dispensing tool, but don't actually remove a suppository. Remember to explain that she should only remove one when ready to use it. Also, instruct her to remove the red cap from the suppository prior to insertion. If the guide plate has been properly aligned, the suppository will release easily without breaking, supporting a proper dosage. Now you can compound progesterone suppositories in a fraction of the time, and it can be done while your patient waits. For more information, contact Cutis Pharma at 1-800-461-7449 or visit us at www.cutispharma.com.